Hi friends, this is Gail, 5 of 4. You know, you're what get me up dressed and put some makeup on. <sighs> Otherwise, I just look like a bum all day, unless I'm going somewhere. Okay, I wanted to show you a few things that I made before I send them, because I always forget. But, um, first, there's a few questions I have. First of all, if you have some plastic like this, and it just seems, you know, and if you want to decorate it, I mean, I know I could, I did learn today the glue, hot glue doesn't stick to this. I learned that lesson because I had something else. Well, this is plastic. That was glass. But anyway, paper seems too cumbersome to get on here. I did put Mod Podge all over it because I thought, oh, I think you're supposed to do that first or gesso or something. And then I wiped it all off because I could tell that wasn't it. So even material just seems like it would be too hard. So what would you do if you wanted to decorate that? Just paint it and then maybe put a little trim or something. Paint. I love my um, alcohol inks. I use that for lots of stuff. That's a question. Then, I mean, when I tell you that I'm directionally clueless, I'm really not kidding at all. Yesterday, I went to the drugstore, and I had seen on TV that this new metallic lipstick was coming out. I can never find the lipstick I like. So, they had different kinds, and she's bringing me all these kinds, and I don't have a lot of patience to look. I just like to grab some. Okay, so it's really too dark, but this is what I got. And then they give you this, the metallic, I guess. So what are you supposed to do? Take a lip brush and pat it on your lips? I took my finger and put some on. But you'd think it means it's in here, but it's here. And then I'm not sure if they just give it to you for fun, for something extra, that this is already metallic. I could use it for crafting. But see, those are the things, like, don't give me anything extra, because I don't know what to do with it. Then, kind of the same thing, I, I don't know, you know, once you start, you get on Etsy or somewhere, you start buying stuff. Well, I bought this couple kits, they were cute, cupcake kid and a um, ballerina whatever from um, Flair by me I think her name's Melanie she's so sweet because every time I've ordered something I screw it up I don't know how to get out of it I don't know how to it's like everything just stops and I don't think it's me it just doesn't get to a complete order or something sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't half the time I leave things in the cart not just her, not her, just her channel. But anyway, where's the cupcake I made? Okay, she was showing yesterday how to make a cupcake, and she gave um, uh, she was doing a tutorial, but she wasn't doing it from the kits. Okay, where is it? So, okay, this is what she sent. Uh, well, I cut this. She had, you know, this is very heavy cardstock. That's another problem I have. Somebody said, oh, I use 90 pound. Oh, I use 120 pound. Oh, I use 60 pound. I'm like, oh my God. You know, what does that mean? Do I just get white cardstock for things? Anyway, she gave uh, the form like to cut. I, I assumed that's what these were. Okay. But she wasn't using these. She just used her cardstock. And, you know, she sent all kind of cool stuff to, to put on it. I do with it. 
And so I'm sitting there following her making this cupcake and I'm thinking, okay, well, what do I do with these? I mean, if there was just one, it would mean use it as a form to cut out the cupcake. So then I thought, okay, maybe she just gave it to us who bought the kit to put like on the back. So like cut out another piece or put it and put it in the middle to make it and then put like the piece you want to do and then she gave you flower like a flower to you know put here a big one so I'm like okay because there's also stocking mitten things to do but it's that's a different kit and there's um, mittens and and then these. So the cupcake things were in the same thing. So I'm assuming she she just said they were coming together. So that's what I assumed. So oh, how can I lose my cupcake? They're ornaments. I kind of thought of making a banner for the kids would be cute. Anyway, when I find it, I'll show you. Thought I had everything here. Okay, and then these were in there. Are they cute? They're a couple. Well, what do I do with these? Did she just put them in there for fun so I'd have them? They're on material. See, and I watched her, and maybe there's somewhere on there where someone explains what each of the things are for. I don't know. But it's like, okay, Gail, what do you do with these? Maybe put them on the back. Those are the dumb things that drive me absolutely bonkers. Then, I don't have a sewing machine, right? And I, I did have one. My, I did have a serger, and I made my curtains downstairs, and then I, because I'm not a sewer, I really don't know how to sew, but I did do all my curtains downstairs. And, um, so I bought one for my sister. She wanted one for last year. It wasn't real expensive. And my granddaughter got this whim. She was about eight or nine, or she wanted one, so she got one. And I don't think she uses it anymore. But since her family's not talking to me, for whatever reason, I can't ask her. So I asked. I left a message for my sister to see if she's using hers or not. But I had this thing that I got at Goodwill. It was made on TV and all that stuff. Hand stitch thing. I've had it forever, but I just knew I would have trouble. And there's a couple pieces, and I have a feeling there's a couple lost pieces. I mean, I can't even figure out how to get this part open. And something's missing here, and I'm like, okay, forget that. I'll go buy a whole sewing machine if I have to. That's why I didn't look at it too much earlier, because I knew that's what was going to happen. Okay. I have issues, don't I? But you think I could find my... And I made myself a note. Okay, pan and plastic. So on the plastic, when you're gluing something or glass, that I just used um, tacky glue. That seemed like it worked. Because the hot glue didn't work, just came apart. And I wanted to tell Roxy that, I keep meaning to tell her, 
Now, I'm not sure, because if I say I did, she says I didn't think I gave her that one piece of material that she likes and doesn't want to finish using the rest of the flowers. Now, I think it was this one. And the one where she was showing her dyed stuff that she did. And then there's also this one, which are raised. This other one, though, I think. And then I'm going to send her this one because these are all like raised. So, Roxy, if you're looking, I think this was the one because if I send you something, I cut a piece off for myself. So you'll have to let me know. And this other one. Very pretty trim. Okay. That's that. And I think I showed you the cover that I made for her book. But I did decide I can't keep it in my purse because I'll ruin it. It's just too bulky. So I made myself the cover. Some stuff I got from Nola Harris. And then I put this around it too. She put a pretty button on it, but I put this around it too just to keep it together. Okay? That's that. Oh, and I want you to know that I starting to learn how to tat and that's as far as I got so far because I haven't had time but it's not hard I thought it would be hard and um, you know who started too was um, the awakening angel Dee Dee and she really is getting there. Okay. Now, you know how I always tell you I get carried away with stuff. That's why it takes me so darn long to make anything. Okay. I had this little jar. Maybe I showed you the other day. I don't know. I thought it would be nice. I, I painted it with my ink and I decorated it like too much. And I put that on top and all that. I mean, it's cute. But some people, you'd like, they'll just put a little thing on top and they're done. Not me. Probably took me hours. Then I made this one today. Not that they're not cute. Can I put that on the bottom? That's that lace stuff that's not really lace and I just love this stuff I have it's yarn actually okay so it took me a long time to do that and I showed you this the other day the feather fell off now I have to find it and that's it was a pill bottle and I put beads in it. Okay. And then I made some flowers. What the heck? It's going to drive me crazy now. I'll have to do a whole thing just on um, the stupid cupcake. Oh, I made this someone I'm sending something to. Okay, I told you I can't make cards. I mean, I can make something, but I mean, how long do you think this card made, took me? I just took one of the cards someone sent me. I, either um, Roseanne or Minerva. Okay, I made this little flower on here. I colored in some of this stuff here. Uh, 
Remember those cards I showed you, the bridge cards that a lady gave me? That her, she said her mother made them, and this is out of a shell. Well, it's pretty much almost an antique. And I just love this so much. I shouldn't have wasted it on this, but I just, I just love it. And I think I got it, I got it from Donna Little, but she doesn't really have any more. I absolutely love it. And there's not a lot I could say I absolutely love. Okay, I put this on it, it was an earring. I colored all this in, put this there, put that little bow there with a pink diamond, put this there. <laughs> well, first of all, I put the opening on backwards. So then I had to turn it around and I just glued it, but I did this. I mean, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows I'm a klutz when it comes to this stuff. Then I had a little piece of this that I put on. I mean, I think it's pretty, but I have to overdo everything. Right? Right. Anyway, the reason I wanted to get the sewing machine is because I just love this bag so much that Roxy made me, Roseanne. And you really have to sew. It, I've got a thing for bags. Remember, I still have my potato bag, the onion bag, the, uh, oh, I have about five, six bags in there. And then this one that she made me. So I've got a thing for bags, but it's just so beautiful. And I just love this. So, I ever get organized. And also, just to tell you that um, Claire by me, Melanie, she had such pretty paper. It was a little expensive. It was like, I don't know, so many sheets. But it's all double-sided. Like 10 sheets for, I don't want to say because I could be wrong. But isn't that beautiful? I can't find what I did with the other parts. See, I cut those out because I was thinking about putting them on the bottle, but I couldn't. And these are all double-sided. This is called White Day. I think another one I got was called Wedding Day. But I was trying to get the stuff off my bed because I can't take sleeping with this stuff anymore. <laughs> so I was trying to at least get it in one place. So I can take it there in the room. Okay, remember when I made this? Now I really like this too. That's why I never gave it to anybody. That's that the grab bag I had gotten, and there were a whole bunch of those tops from phones, and I thought, what in the heck am I gonna do with that? Then when I saw someone have a make a bag and put a picture on it, I thought, oh wait, I'll do that. And I just think it's so pretty. But I'm gonna give it up. I'm gonna put my little jar of beads, whatever, in it. But this bag, either someone gave it to me plain or I bought it. So that's probably my best bet. A lot cheaper than a sewing machine, right? Okay, what else back here? I put this here so I'd lean on it because my back hurts, but. Okay, see these, remember, you might remember a long time ago when I had gotten these. And that's what they, probably from a industrial something. Okay, then I took the one and just painted it. And I put some of this, my stuff around here. Okay, then I had a, I think I gave one away. Then I had a third one. And this is what I did with it. 
there's five different kinds of yarn here that you can use you know for your flowers and stuff it's all different this is going to be a gift and remember that big gold flower I made well then I put this in and this and then I stuck some of this yarn and some pieces of this really pretty gold material that I had gotten from Nola and then there I am again with my my uh, funny looking yarn and I cut some pieces out of that material and then I put little pieces of jewelry instead of making a a dangle and this was in a little thing Roseanne had sent me an inspiration kit so there's all these colors and a little stick pin and I have some of that stuff under here and a beautiful flower someone gave that to me and I it was either something I got in a kit from Annie or it was from uh, maybe Roseanne okay there's the yarns they can use and then I put this little flower I don't know that I just started to make stuck the little teddy bear in put the bow in and then here's a little looks like a bee but it's got like this big mouth with big ears so I think it's something else and I put a fish in its mouth but what are those things that have the big flappy lips when I covered these with remember those um, Margaret had given me I think I had one Margaret had given me like two or three of these uh, like doily type things and I have it under here too but you can't see it now and then I put that on the bottom and then I put a bird and a little flower pot with flowers and a turtle and another little flower pot I don't know why I told you I just get carried away and then I had this little piece of stuff and I just put it there but I thought it came out really cute I was gonna put the bird up here but this is kind of a little bit classy so what did I put on here I put oh I put this trim around it it was red velvet yeah and that and I covered the top with this same thing so And this little bit of pearls. I already showed you that part. But I don't know if you like it, but I do. So we have one plain, one in one painted and one with some stuff on it I love I don't know I like these and I have a smaller one plus I had given one away I think okay and yesterday and today I made a few flowers
Here's one I made. Started out with the um, the round pieces, like Nola was talking about, but a little bit differently. You know, when you when you're cutting out um, doilies, and then. I had some of this pink material striped that she gave us for the cupcakes, but I have some other like it. And then, that's my problem. I don't keep the stuff together. I'm, and I'm so anxious to find, see it all, see what it looks like. And then she'd given us these little flowers, so I cut them. This I had. I put a flower and then I put a little um, sparkly. And then I tried to just spray the tips with just a little pink. And I sprayed it with some kind of, uh, like I said, someone's been talking about spray that has glitter in it. I mean, glimmer mist and all that does but when I bought some of that the other day because I ran out but it's not glimmery like I you know like I thought it would be so I thought that was cute I think I I think I showed you this one the other day it's the one where you burn the ends and then you have to put them all together and then you do two up, one and a half, and you put it together. Then I made this one last night. I got this material. I had ordered it. it um, I ordered it twice and didn't realize it. This kind of a burlapy kind. And then this actually came from one of the kits that I got, and I used it on here. It's a, uh, I get it. I think from um, Annie, MS Garden Grove. And then I had this doily and I lightly spray painted it greenish on the outside. And just tried to get it like the edges. And I put one of those connectors here and the flower. I thought it was pretty. I like this material, it was only about this wide. Okie doke. And then I made this one today. I took the strip that goes around the doily thing because I like the one Nola Harris made where I know it's not exactly alike, but she kind of had these edges going up. And I did some of the white, you know, the folds that we do. It ended up not having the exact effect. Hers had, like, all these little um, things in them uh, that looked like tunnels. But I did the white, and then I thought, oh, I want to do another color. So then I did some of that other material. And then I took the spray and I just sprayed pink just on the outside. See, this is how the back looks. And then, I know a lot of people don't use the regular silk or dried flowers, but see this I had picked up? I took one of these flowers I took it off and I cut about half of it off 
and then I stuck it in the middle. I put some glue in it and I just smushed it in there and and then I had a few of these were supposed to be stamens but I, I put a few of them there and I did this I also think I did another yeah, I did. I forget which, um, it was that square, really fine doily I got from Donna. And I did a little bit of those. But I thought, I really like that with the, that in the middle. And that's why I buy these. You know, you don't even, and I know you can you buy the boxes even of petals if you want to. But I thought that was pretty. Shabalicious. Okay, that was, that's all I made. Mm -hmm. That one, that one, that one. Wait, it is. Because I, I, yeah, I think I should, I should do this, didn't I? Yeah. I think. I put some of this on there. And this on the bottom. Paper flowers. Some more of my stuff. And you can take them off pretty easily. Cupcake just doesn't want to be found, does it? Okay, then there's a few things a lot of you probably haven't seen that I made a little while back that I kept for a long time. And I'm going to give them to some of my friends. Remember this? This was a pin I bought a long time ago. And it started to get so old that I had to take some of the parts off and kind of fix it up. The flowers and stuff. And then I did these. So I have enjoyed it, but I thought time to pass it on. You know, I'm surprised. This is stuff I did in the beginning, and it's not bad. I do a worse job now. Okay, and then I think you saw, yeah, I think you saw the heart I made for Atelli's and started to make another one, not the same kind, but Um, my gosh, why can't I find that cupcake? It's pretty, this is, I guess if you can see it, it's on my mess. This is part of the sari that I had gotten. How pretty pink you know I, I have to 
get my materials and something, everything in certain places because I don't know. I just keep. But look, <laughs> look what I figured out. Oh. Okay, I got in this somewhere. I think I showed you. It looks to me like a priest vestment or a fancy Lowe's thing. We used to have these for our business, you know, burlap with our name on them. And see how long these are? Well, it's really pretty. Well, you know, it's hard for me to get up and down the steps, especially until I get my other knee done and my back. So I decided to tie this around my waist. It's because, like, I'll come up here with food and then a drink and then my phone and then something else I have to bring up and something else, a bottle of water. So I tie this around my waist and I put half the stuff in here. And then the rest I can carry. Pretty good, huh? When I remember to take it up and down. Otherwise, I don't know what it is, but it's very pretty. Purdy, my husband used to say. Purdy. He used to say, you're so pretty. Now, can you imagine what he says? Um... Let me see. I'm gonna stand up a second, see if I can find my Wow. This I'm going to give away. I'm going to put some things in it and I may add to it this was one of the things I made a while ago then I put the lace and this trim on there I would have known how much I like this trim maybe I wouldn't have put it all on here <laughs> but you learn live and learn and this someone I'm giving this to. I don't know if any of you remember this. Remember all the cans that I'd gotten? That one antique store that got collected all these cans and then at the end he was getting older and needed to get rid of them so he I mean like 50 cents or dollar or whatever. But this is it was like a circus one. And just the other day I did this because it looked like it was getting rusty, so I I did that. Let's see. And I had to put that on it, and then this, and then I decorated it like a big flower. I think it's pretty. Okay, then I put this on top. And this was my... Remember when I made the, um, my first, uh, snipper roll? It's the only one I made. And I really like it. I have one that somebody gifted me. Oh, who gifted that to me? Was it Loretta? in there so I thought well the things I make I should be giving away so this is the outside and I think I did a pretty good job on this too I mean not to blow my own horn but I didn't really know what I was doing that much at the time. But I knew I wanted to make one. And I kept thinking, 
we have to have some kind of belt or something, you know. So at Goodwill, I bought this really long, stretchy belt. <laughs> then I saw I didn't have to. And then someone had told me a long time ago, snippet rolls, you know, were to give your friends, long, and on the older days, so they could take pieces off to make stuff. So this is the front part of it. Pretty long too. It's funny pieces upside down when I look at it. And then on the ties I put two silver beads. But I love this brown trim. So, this is going to be gifted to someone I know. And no, don't think it's you because it's probably not, and it's a surprise anyway. My fancy things I love. Loretta, the cotton barn always keeps me in those. And I don't know if I ever told you, she's the one I gave my book to, my fabric book. And she doesn't do videos or anything, so I parted with it. She's just a really nice person, and We've become friends. She lives in Florida, Brooksville. So on this, I kind of covered it and then I put these pearls in it. Masked ball. This was made in England. Doesn't say a date. pretty big. Oh, I have two snipper rolls because I have the one that um, uh, Roxy made me with the two flowers on each end, the roses. And then I I put this on there. I colored these, they were clear. But I thought that was pretty nice, actually. Actually. You know, I say actually so much that when the kids were little and still, they'll say actually. <laughs> I'm like, where'd they get that from? They're getting a little bigger now. I don't know. So, I'll put the cover on better later. Okay, cupcake. This, um, this, uh, piece that I'm have on here. Look at this how pretty it is. And each square is so pretty. I couldn't cut it up. But I think it would make some beautiful bags. Like um, Roxy made me. So I guess I'll start to cut it up. You guys have to tell me about um, the uh, oh my 
questions. Let me see. Let me see my... I mean, it looks okay, but see on the sides, because I tried to put two things in between to make it thicker, you could see it a little bit. So then I had to put something around that. And it just has me confused with all this cardstock stuff. And I'm always asking Minerva or Roxy or somebody something. You would think I would know by now. Let's get this I swear I would make a cute um uh, why do I always have to be missing something? I mean I even wrote notes this time. You know, I have like a bag of things that are like the fav my favorite things. But then there's getting to be too many. See, this is that one that I really liked. I really like it. Really. And I really love the bags. And uh, isn't this beautiful? It's one of the things that I'd gotten from Nola. I give her some money ahead of time and then she knows what I like and when she sees things and I watch her you know I'll tell her what I think I like and, you know PayPal and then I get them A whole nother day is gone, and I don't even have the sheets back on my bed. Let me see. You know, truthfully, that's all I do is look for things. That's all I do all day long is look for stuff. Oh well. Put a little attachment if I find it. You know where it probably is? It's probably in the sheets I gathered up to put in the wash. It's a good thing I didn't put them in yet. I've got places every I, I, I just don't know. I'm thinking if I throw everything in one pile, that I'll have to be able to find it. Well, that's it for my cupcake I made. I make one and it's enough for about six. I will do an extra thing on there if I have to because now I'm aggravated. Well, I can't think of anything else. We've got the lipstick that's... Um, I mean, do most people just know what they're supposed to do? It's like, well, why don't you give instructions? And I looked, there weren't any instructions.
I like the flowers, maybe under here. And I like this. The thing is, it just takes me. Oh, am I missing? No. It just takes me longer. Like, who would take that long? On this, you know. Well, at least anyone who gets the stuff will know that my heart was really in it. And then all my stuff is in the other room, other than all the stuff that's from there and here. So I have to keep going back and forth. So I get my exercise, I guess exercise I don't need. I mean, I do need, but my back doesn't. It's just such a nice thing that she sent. Just not sure. And then, well, I think she did one too on the stockings and the mittens because she sent the some batting. So, all right, I'll let you go. I waited long enough to do it. You know how when you have something to do and then you put it off and then you say, I better do it now. And then you find something else to do. And then, but yeah, she, she didn't use these. But you must have to use them. And look where I put the things she made me. You can see it. I hung it on my lamp. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. I did trim down the bow a little. I think I shouldn't have. Oh, wow. Here's cupcake. Here's cupcake. Cat will probably come running. Okay, I will let you all go. I hope you liked my little show. I'm trying to think if I had any other questions. If anybody knows what glitter stuff I'm talking about, I swear it was Maggie. I mean, there is shimmerous, you know, supposed to be shimmery and have, but this stuff is supposed to, I don't know, have more glitter with it or to go with it or some such thing. So, it's just, I, I know, it's like I know I'm forgetting something, so I'm kind of hanging out here. <laughs> um, okay. All the stuff was up here. That's why I decided to just decided to just sit on my bed and do it. Carrying stuff up and down. It's hard. And I almost have my desk in there cleared off, so I just get stuff everywhere. I, I just, there's no way people could be that organized between charms and uh, paper stuff. And see, I don't use paper that often, so that's probably why I'm not real sure. Like, I thought of this pretty paper like for that chest but I don't think it just seems like it would be too hard to work with okay um, if I don't see y'all or talk to you have a really nice Thanksgiving um, have your I know Canada 
already had theirs, I believe. But have all your turkey and stuffing and whatever it is you're going to have. And be with your families. That's what families are for. To be together, support each other, eat turkey dinner together. Um, so, I will talk to you later. Love you. Thank you for your patience. And have a good evening. Long evening. Nice Thanksgiving. And I love you. This is Gail, Fava of Four. And also thank you to all my new subbies and all your comments. I appreciate it. And I, I do try to comment back most of the time. Sometimes I get in a funk and, you know, hit the little heart thing. But an email I'm pretty bad about. I've got like 50000 on there. And a lot of times I'll buy something and I forget to go over to PayPal. And today I went there to send some money to NOLA. And I saw that I, Donna Little had sent me, it was just a small amount, but I'm like, oh my gosh, why do I always forget? And then she'll remind me in an email, but I never check my email, so I don't know. Old age. All right. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.